Last but not least, we're doing a little grocery shopping, right, dude? Yeah. Lincoln's got to get a new one. Which one do you want, buddy? So I found some water. Good morning, fellow adventurers. Jesse and Lincoln here with Adventure Endeavor. We're going on a little hike. We're camped uh, outside Bayfield, Colorado. We got some really nice hiking trails right from camp. There's our trailer. We got some trails over here and we are gonna try to go up this ridge and see what we can see from the top. So this past week has been pretty interesting. We recently had a major repair on our trailer, which was the rear axle we had to replace the whole thing i did it while boondocking there's a couple videos on that but melissa also started work again so she was on maternity leave uh from having hudson and it's been a really big change of gears we were moving almost every week for a while and now we're staying two weeks in every spot and we're kind of just going a lot slower our kind of daily life is go for walks in the morning, do some exercise, and then Melissa uh, goes to work in the truck camper. And I try to keep Lincoln and Hudson alive. That's my main goal. <laughs> so it's been pretty nice having a slower pace. You can't help and to feel like you are, I don't know, not doing much. Like I feel lazy, but it's crazy because normal life in itself, like taking care of kids, feeding, cooking, doing little projects. It's just a lot of work. So it's uh, it's different. Yeah, I don't really know what this video is gonna be, but we're gonna show you the camp. We're gonna show you the area. Uh, might just be kind of hanging out at camp. Might be kind of boring. It might just be like RV life with some little kids. You yeah, know? it's definitely been an adjustment, me going back to work, because uh, we settled in really well to our new life as a family of four when I was on leave, but now that I'm working again, the dynamic is changing and we're, yeah. It's interesting, so we're to say the least. Again. It's interesting. And we're gonna tackle potty training for this one. This oh God, yeah. I don't know how. Any of you care about that? I, I don't know that we'll be filming potty training. Oh, but. definitely not. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a thing that's happening. Yeah, it needs to be done. We've been avoiding it. Guys, so this is our camp here. Got some friends here. They got a new Brinkley. Our friend Tan and Keel actually just bought a new truck. This is our setup here. This is the wife's office. We use our hot top truck camper as an office. And then we got propane fire pit, stroller. We put this pack and play out for Hudson. Put the awning out. It's super nice to have the awning out. Home is where you park it. Um, we have a whole video on this table here, which is one of the best upgrades we've ever done because you have a sink outside and you have it plugged in you want to go outside bud okay so this is our first time doing anything like this but you don't need to go to disneyland you don't need to go to the zoo you don't need to spend money we're just here in bayfield colorado and we're at a kubota dealer and i'm gonna let lincoln kind of walk around look at all the different tractors he calls these bajas so He's stoked. We're just going to walk around for a bit and it's just nice to get out of the house and do something that brings him joy and and me seeing him have joy. What do you see, bud? You see tractor? Okay, let's go. Where do you want to go? Oh, look at the big one. Which one do you like? You like the big one? Yeah. Wait, Gong Gong. Oh, yeah, it's like Gong Gong's like grandpa's tractor. Wow, there's so many, huh? Wow, that's a really big one, huh? Wow, look at this one. Is that cool? You see that one driving?
yeah so obviously we camp out in the woods and lots of times we just need to get out there and just do something because it's great being in the woods but when you live there you work there you walk there uh sometimes we need an excuse to just get out of the house per se so uh great little activity lincoln loved it we got to around, walk around and see all the different types of tractors we were honestly only here for like a half hour but for him it was awesome right did you like the tractors is one was one of the tractors like grandpa's tractor and the other thing too is that it was free uh, I talked to one of the guys they didn't mind you can go to the zoos you can go to these places that are expensive that cost money or you can find simple little free things like this that are awesome <laughs> All right, Lincoln, so we always show everybody all the really fun stuff that we do, but today we're kind of just showing them a day in the life. And now Lincoln and myself are going to True Value and we're looking for a fabric patch. We get these big comfy chairs and last night some sort of animal chewed a hole in our chair. So we're looking for some sort of like fabric patch or tape or something. We can preserve that chair and use it a little bit longer. Fortunately, we came across some Matchbox cars, so Lincoln's got to get a new one. Which one do you want, buddy? Do you want this big bus? Yeah. Do you like it? Okay. You want that one? Yeah. Or do you like one of these ones? Yeah. Which one? You get one. You get to pick one. One. Do you want to pick yourself? New car. New car? And what is this? Popcorn. Popcorn? Is this like the best day ever? Tractors, new car, popcorn. What else could make this day better? Big one. Oh, you got a big one? Mm, nice. And I know that this video may seem boring, but you guys gotta remember, a lot of RV life is normal life, especially Monday through Friday when Melissa is working. And me and Lincoln, we go around, we run errands, we look at tractors, we go to parks. Right, dude? Say, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Last but not least, we're doing a little grocery shopping, right, dude? Yeah. We gotta get a couple things. I know this is a super, super fun day, uh, but this is the day in the popcorn, life, man. Popcorn. Yeah? You still eating popcorn? Yeah. All right, yeah, you got a new car, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't find the patch we wanted at True Value. Did a little grocery shopping, you know, day in the life. And last but not least, we are gonna fuel up the Jeep. But while we're filling up the Jeep, we are looking for a water source we have a bladder it's in the back of the jeep we need to get some water for the trailer and uh, i didn't notice anything on compendium uh so sometimes you gotta just go to a gas station and you can ask and and they'll let you fill up so i found some water i went ahead and asked them they said it was fine but they said they did not have a water key which you can get these water keys on amazon and it's something you should carry in your kit I will link them in the description below and also you really need to get yourself a water bandit. This is great for like national parks where there's no thread on. This is basically just a rubber chingadera that can go on a faucet that does not have threads. This is our water bladder setup. We got a big 90 gallon bladder here. I always like to have an on off, a double female fitting with a hose. And then I always just kind of carry carry this in the back of the Jeep because when you're out and about, you just grab some water. So I don't often use those water keys because lots of times places have them, but it also, it pays to have those water keys and especially the water bandit as well. They have paid for themselves time and time and again because I think they're only like $7 on Amazon for the water key and then the bandit. I don't know how much it is, but like I said, I'll try to link everything. And then I just kind of have my like water filling kit that I leave in the Jeep. Um, and then that way it's just easy. Now I know that this water is here. It's at a gas station. I'm going to fuel up obviously. And uh, whenever we dump trash or get water, we always like to, you know, buy something at the store. I'll probably go in and buy a drink fuel up so that way you know they're helping us out and we're helping them out right dude yeah yeah, yeah. so i know that i've shown this before but this is my simple setup got a little pump here I plug it into my outlet right here pump it in my gravity feed 
It's very easy. It's very simple, which is what I like. You a booger? <laughs> She's a booger, huh? <laughs> She's been a booger, but... Be careful, don't fall! <laughs> <laughs>